Hi guys, it's May here. Welcome to my channel and welcome to Cooking 101 everyone. For today's dish, we're going to make two types of dishes that are requested from two of our subscribers. One is Patricia Smith from Daily City, California. She said she loves sinigang, one of her favorite Filipino food, and she wanted to make it. She asked me if I could make a very simple sinigang dish that she could follow. So anyhow, for today's sinigang, we're going to use uh, the Hollywood colors. And this is for those of you guys who also on a budget meal. Maybe you can try this. It doesn't have to be halibut. You can use any kind of fish that you guys want. But for myself, today here at home, this is the available fish that I have. So these are all halibut colors. These are not bone. It has a lot of meat. I love halibut. So this is what I'm using for sinigang. And so for Patricia Smith, these are my ingredients for my sinigang for today it's very plain and simple so we have here about two kilo of the halibut collar but again you guys can use any kind of fish that you guys want and i have here two beef steak tomatoes the huge tomatoes i have some taro root you can buy this one in any asian supermarket i have a huge red onions here and for my sinigang for today, of course, the real tamarind, it's not accessible here where I am. So I'm going to use the Mamacita Sinigang sa Sampaloc mix. For those of you that are non-Filipino, my subscribers that are non-Filipino, you guys can get this one in any Asian supermarket. Or if there is any uh, Filipino store close to your place, you guys can get that one. But I suggest to go to uh, a supermarket because you can buy this one a little bit cheaper if you guys want to save money over here i have uh the yellow bell peppers actually this kind of like uh, orangey bell peppers and um i have baby bok choy for uh, my um vegetables for today and of course i'm just going to use a couple of scallions and for miss angela from tarlac she asked me if I could make some dish um, made from sardines and she asked me what is the best vegetables to use for making, for cooking sardines. So over here I have two AA sardines, two cans and this is like, uh, how many grams is this one? This is 155 grams. So I decided to cook this one with eggplant. My ingredients... I have a couple of scallions here, one large beef steak tomatoes, one whole head garlic, one large red onions, and I have four pieces of eggplant here. So I'm going to do this one in a separate video. So let's start. First thing we're going to do is we're going to add three to four tablespoons of the cooking oil. I'm using the 100% um, canola oil. But you guys can use any kind of cooking oil that you guys want. And to check the oil, if it, the oil is ready, you just have to dunk your wooden spoon or your chopsticks if you're using chopsticks. And if you see that it bubbles underneath like that, then that means the oil is ready to use. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to saute the garlic. If you guys want to saute the onions first, that is also okay. We're just going to wait for the garlic to turn into a golden color. Next, we're going to add the onions. A lot of onions is better. So if you guys are sauteing something, it's better to use a lot of onions because it adds a good flavor on the dish and then followed by tomatoes let's give this one a good mix
Let's cover them up. We're going to let this one simmer for at least 5 minutes. And then I'll show you guys the next step. Okay, friends, after 5 minutes, let's check. Okay, next, two cans of sardines. Okay, and then now we're going to season it. Black pepper. I love black pepper, guys, so I always put extra. Black pepper is good for your heart. One tablespoon of the nor seasoning mix for some people they use magic syrup but i like using nor and now we're going to add our eggplant eggplant is good if you have high cholesterol level it tends to lower your cholesterol. I'm going to add everything here. Okay. This is one of my favorite food. My aunt thought that we don't eat sardines, but we do. But I, I like my sardines if you cook it this way. So friends, if you guys are on the budget meal, you guys try this recipe. You guys will like this. So we're going to let this one simmer for 10 minutes. And then, I'll show you guys the next step. Okay friends, after 10 minutes, let's check. It created its own water. So let's mix it. So I'm going to add a little bit of salt, just a little tiny bit of salt. Okay, let me get my salt. I'm going to use the pink Himalayan salt. It's almost gone, but I bought a new one, so. Just a little bit of salt. Let's add our scallions or green onions. Mix one more time. And we're done. That's how plain and simple it is, guys. Not too complicated. Very simple ingredients. And yet, hmm, yummy in the tummy. Okay, friends. This is our finished product. This is our ginisang talong sa sardinas. If you guys like this video, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And also, if you guys haven't subscribed on my channel yet, you guys, please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Have a blessed day, everyone, wherever you are in the world. And may the good Lord bless us all. I hope you guys like this recipe.